Thought of the week here, guys. By uh, Frederick B. Harris. It's in my little Forbes Thought of the Day book. I've also moved the TV, guys. Uh, for the, I have the TV here when we have the guest on. And I had it, I was looking at it, and I make adjustments as we go along. I'm always trying to just improve things. And I got my laptop here. And I always just like, I got my laptop here covering me. And then I got the TV kind of over here. And then when I have a guest here, sometimes I put the TV down. Because it's the guest always sits on this side. And I was just, why the, why the fuck don't I just move the TV to the front of the laptop? Kill two birds with one stone. Stupid. So... That's why this part of the TV was on that side for one interview and then I moved it over and it's going to be over here for, for the rest of the time being. Guys, so just forgive me in my ignorance at, from time to time. But I feel like this is a little cleaner, a little better setup here. All right. Frederick B. Harris, Thought of the Week. There is no verbal vitamin more potent than praise. There is no verbal vitamin more potent than praise. What does that mean? That means to me that there is no, did I just forget the quote already? No, there's no verbal vitamin more potent than praise. That being kind, complimenting somebody, making somebody else feel good, um, there's nothing better. And it's not always easy. But I find it's like when they say compassion is a muscle that gets stronger with use. And I believe that was a quote from Gandhi. Um, and that you have to actually practice this stuff regularly. It's like anything in life. You just, I mean, there are occasions where you're just good at something. I mean, I was just fucking great at kickball as a kid. I never practiced kickball, but I was really good. I found out at a young age at kickball. Random fact about Ryback. Most of the time, though, we all have to practice to get good at stuff. And, and you have to keep doing it and keep doing it. And it's repetition after repetition after repetition. Being kind to people is something, especially in this day and age with the social media and the negativity, and a lot of people are unhappy. That's why it, it, it's sometimes it's not easy because it... We see people get angry. That's why we talk about hold a door open for somebody on this show. Do a, Just smile at somebody occasionally walking down the street in a non-creepy way. If you can, if you have a creepy smile, fucking don't do it. Okay. Hold a door open and don't do a creepy smile holding the door open, but general acts of kindness, practicing these things and in making somebody else feel good on social media, rather than leaving a negative comment, stop yourself. If you find yourself upset at something, being upset at something is okay. I think it, it, it's just that we have a choice in how we are going to allow that, that negative feeling to control us. And if we're going to choose to spread that or not, stop yourself. Don't follow that person if it really, truly bothers you. Block that person if it's something you never want to see ever again. And don't follow them. Don't say anything. Go and look at and find something that makes you happy and makes somebody feel good. There's no stronger vitamin. There's nothing you could do or take that's stronger than that that feeling of just that of sense of accomplishment of letting out somebody know, letting somebody else know that you think they're awesome or that they're doing a great job and mean it, actually mean it and it, you have to practice it. And that's the whole thing. It takes time and you got to do it over and over and over. And they, but before you know it, it becomes second nature. A year from now, if you practice this on a, on a daily thing of just leaving a nice comment to somebody and making them feel good and not being fake, not bullshitting, something you genuinely think, man, great job. Fuck, you're really, you're killing it, man. You keep doing what you're doing. You look fantastic. Man, what a beautiful picture. What a beautiful family. Whatever it is, whatever it is. In a year from now, your mindset will be in such a different place of practicing this rather than fucking stupid. You stu you suck. What a piece of shit. Whatever the you know what I'm where I'm getting with this, guys. But there's nothing stronger. And I really think in a, in a, if we can practice that and understand it, we can we can do a lot more good than we than we even think we can. And and just Put yourself in, you know, how picture how you feel. I know I feel great when somebody leaves me a nice compliment. When I post an ab picture and they say, yeah, those are the best abs I've ever seen, I fucking smile. You're damn right I do. 
I mean, fucking feel good. Because I was like, yeah, they are. Yeah. I do have great abs. <laughs> but put yourself how you feel when somebody compliments you. You feel great, right? It makes you smile. We're all pretty similar in that regard. So let, let's make other people feel good. And just find things that you could actually really mean it. And the things that you don't like, it's awesome. Because we all don't like, we're, we're, there's just so much we're not going to like. It's okay. And there's some people that we're not going to resonate with. and that we, they, they're, they're full of shit. Whether, whether we're right or wrong, that's how we feel. Just, it's fine. Just move on. Don't, because it doesn't help you any is what I'm getting at with this. And find things to make other people feel good. There's nothing stronger. I like that quote. And that's my thought of the week on that, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.